Many courtrooms also develop their own algorithms, the inner workings of which are often kept secret. According to ProPublica, judges in Arizona, Colorado, Delaware, Kentucky, Louisiana, Oklahoma, Virginia, Washington, and Wisconsin all use some kind of risk assessment scores during sentencing. Increasingly, defendants are assigned risk assessment scores. These are algorithmically generated numbers based on their criminal and personal history, used to predict their likelihood of showing up to future court dates or committing another crime. Part of the promise, right, is okay, we're going to be letting a lot more people go, but we're going to be using a risk assessment, so we're only letting the right people go, not the bad ones. The state is using a risk assessment tool called the Public Safety Assessment to help decide who is released pre-trial. Another widely used system is the Compass Risk Assessment Tool, made by the company North Point. All of those analyses assume that the outcome, whether you're re-arrested or not, is some sort of gold standard truth about your level of criminality, which again, isn't necessarily true, that is a human decision to make that arrest. So if both humans and algorithms are flawed, what's the answer here? 